chapters will cover not all of them, but important parts will be covered. About three quarters will be covered in this time of semester. Chapter is just an overview of background and document, the book, the book, the book contents and audience. There are international uh, step centers, one for country. So you see that Uminova is from Portugal, Ecom is from Japan, Canada, Sweden, Australia, China, France, <laughs> Germany, Korea, and United States. They have uh, step centers and they have a consortium to cover the step centers and factors interoperability, supply chain, the phase collaboration, life cycle management. And this is a poster on the front page of the book booklet. And background of the book, the NIST is a Organization, uh, government organization. This is DOB, <laughs> government of the United States. And NEL is a manufacturing engineering laboratory of NIST. They are big uh, force behind the step development. Still, they are working on this one. But in the beginning, they are leaders leading the project. That they are developing manufacturing technology. Now they are moving on to smart factory things by this organization. Productivity and competitiveness. Companies exchange and share information of the world. And product data and data form. So that is the background of the step. And step was the first ISO step. ISO is the international standard organization, but among ISO, the step community is very special. They are saying that this is the first time we did whole of the ISO. And they use, first time in ISO, use formal. See, this is uh, TC184. Current TC is about two, one, three hundred. I'm not sure. Around. Right. So these are sequential numbers when the new committee is formed. So that there should be TC1, right? The old one, TC2, TC3, TC4. So this is a relatively, it was formed in 30 years old. Now it's a new, new. Technical committees coming around this number. And among them, until then, use formal information language such as Express. It is developed by this community, the information modeling language, first time. Now, after that, UML and SML is developed by another organization, but this community adapt to use UML and SML. But Express is before. And publish a standard using an information model language express. So language is specialized for standard and digital information in normative form. So standards itself include digital data. It's like first time in ISO. Nowadays all ISO standard is published in on the web. 30 years old, it was first time. Specification for conformance testing. Testing also first time to, to test the standard itself using testing methodology. This book is contains global marketplace, paradigm shift, international standard. Standard is no longer training technology, no longer after the fact, documentation is. See, 
something like uh, standard for length, standard for weight. That is basic standard, right? And th at that time, before that, standard was after technology is established, then st standard is comes. But nowadays, technology development and standard is coming together. Not after the technology, it's coming together. So technology, patent, standard, and, and technology is coming together in this. Parallel standardization with technology. This is an experiment. So patent and journal paper and standard and technology are coming parallel in these days. So this new technology is inside this standard. International standard is becoming more and more important compared to old days. In the future, international standard will be dominant. That is the expectation. In news, national standard and company standard. Say Samsung has their own standard, Apple has their own standard, Google has their own standard. But they will become more and more using because of the market is global market, so they need the uh, international classification of standard. The jure jure is a standard for by law, so that the government is supporting this step. ISO and KS. Yes, yes, it's Korean standard. GC is for Japan standard. Uh, NC is for United States. NC, Korean standard. The standard stamped by government of Korea. Right? So it's a law it is enforced. You know what is the name of Jet Egypt standard? You should find out. The factor standard is something like, uh, in fact, supposed to be everybody using, even though the government is not involved, the company standard, something like MS Window, Apple OS for the smartphone, or Android is used for Samsung, right? Or Google. So they are competing each other. Competing each other. But majority is using one of them. Also, MS Windows is uh, competing with uh, Apple, in Apple operating system or Apple uh, notebook. So it's interesting. And there are also consultation standards. I3P is a society for engineers, world consortium, worldwide web consortium, for engineers. So there are also many, many standards. Company standard. Industry standards, national standards, and international. So, standard is also competing each other. This is interesting. You should know about this uh, politics of standard. So implementation Lockheed Martin F22 program, probably 10 years ago. And they are saying that they save money by using step. Or saving of 50% <coughs> of process saving for composite and projected 27% savings on food. I have visited the uh, Boeing plant last week with Sunjo during the step meeting. And they say the wing structure was made for by aluminum or, or dry aluminum something like that. But now they are changing to composite material. Whole wing and body is made of composite material. Big, big airplane. Boeing 787 is a new, new series. All of them is made of composite material. Whole body, not, not only small portion. Project is 27% saving on tool design and Boeing 
So it is all, all we should have a seven a seven now with this more new programs. Seventy-five percent time saving processing design from engine supplier using flex. Engine price of the airplane, big airplane, is one third of the whole price. I heard from the company that one third is engine of airplane and one third is from a uh, hull, can say hull, a body, or body, right? body, or structure. And the other one third is for interior, interior and plus uh, electronics. Or uh, uh, communication and control the cockpit. So engine is big, big money for airplane. And this one is made by when we uh, visited Boeing, they are showing engine coming from GE, General Electric. But also Rolls Royce and and Pratt Whitney, they are three big uh, engine gas turbine makers for airplane. So that the engine is assembled at the final stage of the airplane construction. Boeing is C-17, it's for military uh, uh, cargo plane. It is time to transfer bit of material data from weeks to minutes. Mm -hmm. So Boeing Vision in 16, <coughs> new one. Scale system iteration, lean enterprise, and interoperability inter for design and anywhere, build and I saw from Boeing that they use many, many parts coming from, from especially from Japan. But <coughs> Korea too, so any customers, there are so many customers of Boeing. See, Korea, Egypt, and all of the countries buy Boeing airplane. They have some parts purchased by customers. <coughs> Small parts, but big parts are coming from Japan. Anyway, this design anywhere, build anywhere. It's policy by Boeing. Durability analysis, American a metric to identify failure mechanisms and predict time to failure. This is provided by a uh, sales model. Uh, is a uh, let's see, off the shelf, commodity off the shelf. You can that one is you can buy it from the market, but you need to have an integration on it. Not specially uh, purchased or manufactured in this side. They just buy from the market, off the shelf, and product by conference engineering and validation of the device project. AP is a step application protocol numbers. They are using for this uh, electronic circuit board for analysis of server analysis, vibration analysis, and failure assessment of this finite machines of this product. We use the AP support. And product data exchange for electronics too, again, for Boeing. And they are using a neutral data representation for mechanical and electrical. Electrical. Electrical, right? And analysis. Somal uh, and also manufacturing of that. So there are so many different uh, Organization and softwares, they should exchange data between. This is for shipbuilding. Uh, shipbuilding has a different APs, operation protocol for electrical arrangement and outer skin surface and structural strengths and also pipings, plant piping. So that for one ship, should use different APs or different uh, 
and their engineering disciplines. Also, they have different test system for each category of disciplines. Piping engineers, structural engineers, uh, hydrodynamic engineers, arrangements engineers, and electronic engineers they use different softwares. But they should work together. And book is made of four sections. And first section of chapter two three is basis of understanding <coughs> the history. And chapter four to eight is for technical background. Information technology. And then the other main one is for uh, organizational structure of how standard is developing and how this standard is made by software tools. And final chapter is for features. Future and uh, what the mist is involved. Daily business of uh, OEM. OEM means here is a uh, final assembly plant such as Boeing or, or GM or, or Samsung. And the complexity and cost and time is increasing together. The cost and time increase, product complexity is increasing. Okay. You can think about Boeing. There are 1,000 design change orders from us. About 7,000 internal external users with comments, they send comments. And purchase orders and also engineering and planning. Did I explain about EPC before? EPC is an engineering procurement and construction. The purchasing is Purchasing, P, engineering, design, and also planning. Planning is preferred than PC. And audience of this book is about standard developers and major organizations, technical committees of ISO and IC. And IPO is United States organization, US Pro 2. And US Industry Association and other countries later. Because this book is written by these in information technology vendors or software companies, cars community, e-business, and step centers of the around the world. And this is already shown this one before. Extended enterprise concept. And this one so right? the product they Life cycle support is one of the AP of step standard. So you think about the in service period of airplane or ship or nuclear power plant is very long, say 30 years or 50 years, comparing to uh, design and manufacturing and efficient of So it can be five to ten years depending on what the product is, design and support, but 20 to 8, 50 years of operation of life. So this is very important situation. So you need to have a life cycle support. Information. Reference books. There is an organizational handbook of SS4. There has been a recent uh, publication coming. You can get uh, the time version of the SS4 handbook. Can you provide the handbook, the new version, feedback from Stephanie? I have sent to either. No. Okay. Handbook. No. Or original handbook for data framework and then you come over and send presentation.
I think they made something and break, made break, made time, and eight hundred to nineteen ninety five. There is two D two D drawings. Uh, each is written by tensor or ruler and tensor compass. And today, these days, we use CAD, CAD system and picture. I don't you know what this is, but it will be like VR, VR CAD system. Uh, what is the difference between digital drawings and intelligent prototype design? This and this? Yeah. It can, I think, it is more immersive. Moito was pretty. It will be, I think, pretty hard. Usually, drawing is 2D drawings. Yeah, 2D is drawing and it's healthy. So digital drawing is 2D drawings. AutoCAD? Uh, AutoCAD. <laughs> at that time. Mm -hmm. And zero one two is uh, versions of our formats inside IDF. You can find out from Google what is IDF. There should be some more of it. Of the foundational description of the data. 
the good weeds change. And finally, the step is the family of ISO international standard that is uh, how to represent and exchange digital product information. IGES is made by Japanese, and this is IGES file composed of daily filter ASCII report. And ADASS is held data exchange format for sense for surface model from one cell system to another. IGS is from United States and VDAF is coming from Germany. You see, I, I found Google and there it is. So I think it is strange, but. <laughs> IGS is an NC standard. NC is the United States Standard Organization, NC. I, I remember who, uh, there was another slide coming the left. Who, who was the issue? Your slide. Right? US. Includes one slide for IGS development. Yes. Right? Yes. Yes. Previous class.
Third one is SAT. This is made by French in France, France in 1985. This purpose is to develop a more reliable alternative to IDES for automotive and aerospace industry. It supports wireframe, frame, surface and solid model including CSG and VLAP and VLAP entities as well as scientific data and physical modeling also included. The basic component of SAT is based on a three-level hierarchy of data, data that is assembly, data block, and data sub block. Here is information of this hierarchy, three level hierarchy. And I think you know assembly is collection of data defining a certain piece of information, like part, part, part modeling, modeling part, and block is consists of an identifier followed by block type number and blocks reference number and sub block consists of an identifier and a list of data that contribute to the description of entity defined by data block and finally dictionary of dictionary is a set of predefined parameters in the specification of standard the domain of SET, SET blocks and sub blocks are grouped in class, called functional domain. A class is linked to one the type number. This is the example of type and dictionary entries is classified into each application. Another, the other standard format is CAD I. This is invented by 12 organizations from six European countries in 1984. And this purpose is to develop a family of consistent, compatible, standardized interface for CAD in machine tools and automotive and Aerospace. It supports solid and wireframes and freeform surfaces. The CAD I achieved the first ever transfer of direct solid model between different CAD systems and much of shape modeling pop. Capability of step is based on CAD I work. So it has a significant influence on step development in the FE area. And this is, you cannot see this where this screen, but you can see in PDF I send. This is example of CAD I format. And other standard format, why IDES, IDES is not adopted, is um, global commerce and increased outsourcing, making data exchange more critical and more complex product which require coordinating among multiple engineering disciplines and working software and so on and IGES has many technical flaws and this is a list of technical flaws so next generation standard became TEP 
I 1984 on International Committee or State Parents Forum on Committee in Hope of Building a Common Solution to Candidate Exchange and PTDIF and European Approach co work in May of 1984. November of 1984, second of PDES report was And final, I think this is final slide. How did the metric crop content find its way in step? The original vision for IDS included easy access to all machine recovery product data and already other standardization efforts will exist here. So, EAC met the ITC in an attempt to coordinate, coordinate all of tender. And there is harmony, harmonization activity. I stand, I stand as coordinating committee has a meeting with IGS organization and other tender efforts and between IGS organization, EAC and IEC TC3 has meeting about documentation and practical symbol by the representative. And this concern led to harmonization meeting at we are in headquarters in 1988. And PEIA issued results of evaluation report entitled Harmonizing Cars Product Data Description Center. This is the end of my presentation. Thank you. If you have questions. So the step for IGS now they include electric circuits. Yeah. They can include electric circuit uh, design electric information. Circuit design. Or you're mm -hmm. not sure. Mm -hmm. Does any standard include both mechanical and electrical information? Maybe mm -hmm. Professor. Yes. Yeah. Uh, can I see my slide? Today's lecture. Today's lecture. Right. Can go up, go up, go up, go up, okay. Yeah, this one. Right. This one and the previous one it shows how mm -hmm. mechanical and electric cars coming together. Really. And one more slide off. This AP two ten is the one part of a step standard application protocol two ten. So it is about electronic circuit. And commercial CAD software, they support this electromechanical design? Or uh, some of them. Some of them. Yeah. Okay, what about like a simulation? Finite element C if we mm. this information, mm. like environmental information and not just the actual product. Is there any standard for simulation? Simulation, not for simulation, but for the meshes and properties of the meshes, there is. Yeah. You can do CFD or FDM based on the standard mesh. Because you need to exchange meshes. The simulation itself can be done by your software. Standard is only for exchange of information. Mm -hmm. so which one is need for exchange information? But after you make the model, after defining the physical model or the mathematical model, is there some format to transfer the model to another? There is CAD design model. Right. Design, design model can be exchanged. No, the simulation model. After defining the constraints and the forces and pressure and everything. It's a result. Before solving it. What thing is that? So first we have the CAD model and the meshing and the or like uh, defining the physical right. constraints right. and right. all the forces right. and then meshing and then solving it. So before solving, is there 
Load conditions. Right, the load conditions. Is there a standard for that? For different uh, physical? Uh, yes, the mesh standard includes some mm -hmm. how to define such a load or environmental forces. Right. There are some. But that is similar to the FEM software. Yeah, but for multi physics applications, it can be complicated, like thermal, mm. structural, mm. and electromagnetic mm. combined. Mm. It can be rather complicated. Mm. So, their current standard is focused on the mesh exchange and then for some other information from mesh. Yes. I like the picture. <laughs> Android now. <coughs> um, yeah. There are complications, huh? Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Companies better stick to their standards. This is my opinion. Yes. Okay. <laughs> they, they better stick to their standards because if they go with the flow, then they just uh, let their competitors and uh, be easily compared to them. So Apple is is doing a good marketing job, or well, it's kind of marketing in the sense that it's designing its own product, and if yeah. customers like it then they don't open the door for comparison. They don't want them to be compared to other people. And uh, if customers like the product, they're likely to buy accessories from the same place just because of influence that this is original and we need to buy it from the source and so on. So uh, in, in this maybe market, I think customers will be loyal, more loyal to the brand than the uh, actual features. So if you don't, they care less about the features if they like the quality of the product. So yeah, for the company, it would be more profitable for them to stick to their own standard, I think. If they believe in it, that it's good quality. Thank you for your opinion. And what about this one? Uh, in your opinion, it is uh, only adapted to the big company. And other small or middle company, uh, the international standard will more uh, profitable to their profit because the uh, big company has their own uh, manufacturing uh, manufacturers but uh, small or middle company um, they they have to uh, make the product uh, with other other companies so the international standard uh, can be more suitable for them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the their company standard is only suitable to the 
big company. Mm -hmm. Why can't the small <coughs> companies copy the or use the same standard as the company standard? If, um, if the standard is well documented, or if you have access to it, why can't you just use it? Why do you need to make your why do you need like an international standard for that? Because the middle company have to provide their product to every other the other companies. So can you give an example? For example, the, uh, the small company have to provide uh, their product to Samsung or Apple. The two groups uh, use another standard. So the international standard uh, will it, uh, may it exist. Uh, it is more convenient to, to the small company. So it can provide the same product to Samsung or Apple. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The reason why they can become like a very big company is because they are like a, uh, their own standard, and it has been proved that those kind of standards are very good for even for use and for management. So we don't need to provide new standard for it, and even for those small companies, and they can just follow the uh, those standards made by the Apple, even the other companies, the big companies. So. Uh, because they are small, so they have to follow the big companies for their standard. And uh, for example, okay, like uh, as we have mentioned yesterday, Monday, uh, for uh, Apple, so uh, around like fifty percent of uh, the parts are manufactured in the world. So uh, actually, uh, Apple a company has their own uh, big, uh, very uh, like efficient standard. So. Uh, this kind of standard can uh, prove to be very uh, uh, useful and very uh, for whom? Uh, for even for the like all those small uh, companies, like for oh. ear earphones, I mean for uh, a phone case and a lot of small parts. So those small companies have to uh, have to follow uh, this kind of stream and tendency. So, <coughs> but I'm confused because the iPhone has their own. A single product, as you can see, and this jack is only for the iPhone. Yeah. But how can you deal with each other? So if, you, if you uh, make the same, same earphone, mm -hmm. but the jack is different, so you make the two different the manufacturing system. So it is not, it is not good. Yeah, because uh, iPhone, you know, they are uh, a kind of like innovative so if you want to try to create new things so sometimes if especially for their uh, own technology they don't want to be like duplicated by others so this kind of uh, uh, like procedure you know, <coughs> this kind of uh, approach is uh, quite profitable to their own company so okay so uh, it's just for debating purposes so you're saying that uh, they will have two kind of production lines to sell to two different companies, but I think the two choices we're facing here is either to sell to the company or not to sell to the company because Apple is a big giant, so they have a lot of demand. Mm -hmm. And if you want to deal with it, you have to use its own standard. If you don't want to deal with it, then you just don't sell. So the, the real question is whether to make a production line with Apple standard or to make a production line with international standard. So. 
I think it's more profitable to just, like, if you find a good customer, it's a big company and it will take a lot of your products, you can make its own production line and that's profitable, in a sense. I don't fully agree with my own self, but <laughs> just for debating purposes. Uh, I think uh, company's profit is linked link customer. And I give an uh, example. This iPhone 7 leaves their earphone hole. And their earphone is connected by this below hole. So many iPhone Royal, Royal user uh, oppose that, oppose that, oppose this. Uh, this situation, but I can ignore that, and I think I I can some I can either leave and use uh, Samsung or LG smartphone, and but uh, if I can follow standard, uh, there is no <laughs> leave user leaving user I think. I can count the, the number between iPhone and the numbers of companies that are taking just the, uh, their standard. Like outsourcing? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's kind of outsourcing. Yeah, I see. So in the case, Dongyi is the manufacturer. And who is the retailer? Retailer is Kia? What do you mean by retailer? Yes. yes. Kia is the retailer. Uh, yeah. Kia is the retailer. Okay. I so you mean. should be clear about who is retailer, who is manufacturer. Yeah. Okay, I'm sure. Also, one example, Nike. 
made of purposeful ancient people. So the components are made in smaller companies, or the assembly is done in the bigger company, with the brand of the bigger company, right? Is that what, what you're referring to here? Yeah. Oh, see. The components are made in smaller companies, and then the brand, or the assembly is uh, branded by a bigger company's name, right? Yes, right. Yeah. Okay. But he's mentioning about whole product is outsourced in this case. <laughs> The whole Only floor. The whole car? Yeah, the whole not, not just part. Then put the, the whole car is manufacturing on us. No, just see my experience when I get this first. The dog motor, ah, we're just making a whole uh, morning model. But in case of BMW, depending on the components, they ask a uh, difference uh, right. factor. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. Yes, but in case of Nike, Nike just uh, uh, provide their brand and they ask the uh, developing com country to uh, make uh, these shoes by providing shoes design. Mm -hmm. I see. So what is the debate here about? Yes, this agree and disagree, right? <laughs> agree and disagree. Okay. Agree with outsourcing versus disagree with outsourcing? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this kind of uh, system. Okay. Which one is this? Agree with disagree. Disagree. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So if you have a product and you spent a lot of time designing it and innovating it, you don't want to just uh, like give it to other companies to take all the design information. So you want to keep your information confidential to gain some competitive edge. So if you just outsource all the components to manufacturers to make, they can easily copy the design and then they can like improve on it and sell to other competitors, competing brands maybe. So you're basically leaking your own secrets out. Uh, so outsourcing in that case can be very uh, damaging to the kind of company's design assets or design secrets. Yes. I think you may make sure your company deceive. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. For this reason, mm -hmm. uh, company would Increase level of detail, like le level of detail mm -hmm. and uh, <coughs> hand over that type of design to manufacturer, and this is not problem, I think. Mm -hmm. But or or they, make, they can make their core technology part, yeah. uh, their own. What do you mean? They can make their own uh, part with some uh, important technology. Yeah, well, like here for the morning car. Mm -hmm. Because the whole, whole car is manufactured by a small company. So in this case, um, I mean, they don't have a hardcore technology. Yeah, yeah. So all of the, all of the like, parts and even components are not very important to them, to Kia Motors. Yeah, maybe they have their uh, like patent or something. Yeah. They don't care about the, the technology leaking. But, okay. but I guess uh, the here is still worried about mm -hmm. uh, like the technology technology leakage because uh, maybe someday that's new. That's not done. That's not right. Don't hit. Don't hit. Don't hit. So maybe uh, someday uh, they will create a new brand called uh, Moni brand. Brand Moni uh, 2 or maybe series uh, this kind of car. But it's a little bit different. So uh, how can KR like, solve this kind of problem? You mean there will be possibility to copy yeah, maybe the previous yes. Moni, Moni 2 is I mean, some they they claim that they uh, yeah, they want to be the best. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay.
you buy them? <laughs> you, you mean it, uh, new product of Morning 2 is released and Dongi can copy Morning 1? Uh, not Do you mean? for that. Maybe um, up to now, like uh, it's Morning 2, right? So maybe someday, and uh, Dongi and uh, we all claim that uh, it is, we just designed a new brand called Morning 3. So, um, yeah, but they, are, they, want, they also want to be independent and they, want, they also want to change their brand. So, to me, it is enough to kill out. So, how, when this kind of situation comes, how can you solve that kind of problem? Mm, but yeah, I maybe, think maybe there is yes. that kind of risk, but the other aspect of cost or technology or some other, other side, uh, that kind of thing is more. <coughs> profitable to the Kia uh, compared to the risk. Mm, and uh, they did they didn't invent like morning three because uh, it is there is I think a work of obstacle of uh, engineering because uh, Kia research and research it many times and Tongi cannot copy it perfectly or um, in develop their own winning three earlier. I can I don't think that way. Engineering is too difficult and I think middle or small companies have no money to develop that. <laughs> so you mean so because of the, as a because of reason, just small companies follow the just order, right? Yeah. They need to put, uh, want to develop uh, research and mm -hmm. development parts. Yeah. But I think with more <laughs> With more outsourcing, uh, there is like a higher risk that the company is taking. Because if I'm dealing with only one supplier or two suppliers, I can trust them, they have a good process, they have good quality. Mm -hmm. But if I'm dealing with 100 suppliers and one of them fails to provide the components, then it's hard to kind of substitute them. Or like there is a, there's a lot of management work that needs to be done keep track of all these suppliers and all the components and make sure they are uh, delivered on time with the right quality. So maybe this is a higher risk that needs to be uh, that's taken when you choose many suppliers. And if you choose few suppliers, then you're increasing the chances of them coming together and making the product without you, basically. So it's um, like both ways, I think, can be very risky. So do you have some example of that kind of risk? Yes. Example of uh, I know what <laughs> Risk, sure. risk, risk. Yes. Uh, for example, for, for BMW, I know in um, China, uh -huh. BMW has a new branch uh, in Shenyang. And uh, I know uh, uh, several of my friends, they went to this company. And this side, for BMW, uh, only uh, like for the hardcore technology, it's a respect for the engines and also like for uh, the gears, this kind of uh, automatic, uh, auto gears, automatic, uh, yeah, automatic gear. gears, mm -hmm. this kind of like a system, they don't want to be uh, shared with the Chinese companies. So mm -hmm. they always like send their like experts and even uh, the engineers so, so hard to from Germany to mm -hmm. China. Mm -hmm. After they are demanding, they I think uh, that oh. is your opinion is <laughs> my <laughs> our <Yeah>. our side. <laughs> so, uh, so that's the reason I don't agree really with outsour yeah. outsourcing. Yeah. So we, we should protect our uh, protect our technology so we can't <laughs> share so, our technology with others. Do you mean cup China copy BMWs? Not okay. copy, is it just worried about it? Uh, worried? Uh, yeah, so they right. even yeah, for the... Uh, so like the BMW sent the <laughs> expert 
and they can they can protect their leakage of technology. Yeah, like for the hardcore design is mm -hmm. uh, done in Germany mm -hmm. instead of China. So mm -hmm. only for the manufacturing and for like the wheels and kind of engineers. I think reverse engineering is becoming more powerful these days. Mm -hmm. So even if you like uh, you didn't make the product, you can figure out how it works and uh, how to improve it. So it's uh, technology is, is becoming more like you can do three D scanning, and you can do analysis based on that, and it's becoming more powerful. So yeah, even the expert cannot pr pr protect anything if uh, the product is out there and anyone can open it, can scan it, can read it, can analyze it. It's open there for anyone, for any person with engineering knowledge, he can hack into the product and figure out how it works. So, uh, yeah, I think it's, it's a double-edged sword. But I said, there is obstacle engineering. This needs an enormous money, but <coughs> neither a several company don't have that money. And these days, the securing the technology is very hard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the uh, maybe uh, the, that kind of technology will uh, grow. Same with the three D scanning. So we can easily protect the leakage of technology. It's predictable, I guess. Verification tool is very. The Shoes is easy to copy, right? Yes. Nike has some limitation. Well, Nike has the, the brand. The brand power is very big uh, in that kind of shoes. Yes. Okay. Right. Okay, uh, now I'm gonna finish of this debate. I think we can to also seems um, very good things. Seems safe, safe. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for your cooperation. <laughs> Interesting for me to <laughs> see the debate. <laughs>